Yo, what's up guys, Sejiko Golden here, welcome to this new episode. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys one of the strongest deck in the current meta right now. I'm talking about this, Mortar Evo, Little Prince Quick Cycle deck, 2.8 average elixir So as you guys can see, this deck cycles very, very fast. We're gonna be playing it in a grand challenge. I'm currently 8-0, so the goal, of course, in today's video is trying to get to the 12 wins. Hopefully, we can get it flawless, get some nice victories back to back. So let's hop into the first match, let's give them a good luck, see what we can do. So usually with this deck you play kind of aggressive in single elixir. I actually sometimes like to start off with uh, yeah mortar offensively, especially now that he didn't respond to the ice spirit. I think he might have an awkward cycle or maybe like a little bit heavier deck. So in this case he goes with bowler. We can go with minions on top of that and then afterwards prepare the miner. Bowler might be NATO actually, so I'm gonna go miner kind of towards the safe spot and then he goes with archers. Okay, so probably gonna be the um, goblin giant deck which has been very popular. Gonna be an interesting matchup. I feel like this matchup, if uh, yeah, you play it well, you can definitely win it, especially because of the quick cycle. But you still need to watch out because in some situations, in some cycles, the bowler is kind of awkward. The Evo Arches are also very strong. So in this case, let's keep up the pressure. Let's go with Mortar offensively. We can maybe force out some Elixir. In this case, we force out a Little Prince, so that's perfect. And afterwards, we can prepare our own Little Prince. Okay, I think he does have a uh, lightning. Wait, let's actually not a little prince. We don't have enough elixir to go with ability. We, we can just go with goblins plus an ice spirit on top of it. And then we already cycled our mortar evo. He's probably gonna bowler left side, so let's wait a little bit. I don't wanna be too aggressive in this situation. But at the same time, you do need to take a lot of advantage in single elixir against these type of matchups. So let's see what he does. I guess besides the bowler, he will not drop anything. He might try to pressure with something, but he doesn't really have anything in cycle right now. So I guess we can just go with a miner here. And then I'm actually going to Mortar Offensive. He doesn't have Goblin Giant in Cycle. He doesn't have Bowling Cycle. I feel like his Cycle is kind of awkward right now. He goes with Goblins, but they are going to go um, yeah, down pretty fast. And then here the Little Prince will also go down pretty fast. Evil Mortar, in my opinion, is still one of the strongest evolutions in the game. It's just kind of like overshadowed because of the Evil Arches, because of the Recruits and everything. Nice. Very good Little Prince here. Let's also pop the ability. Let's then afterwards maybe go with Ice Spirit. Yeah, I'm going to Ice Spirit. But I don't think he has much Elixir right now. I feel like he spent so much Elixir there. Let's go with a Miner as soon as we can to the tower. And then this is kind of awkward for him to defend. Unlucky for us that we just hit double elixir. But anyway, still a very good push. I think he might have to spend something else there to defend it. Because the Goblins are still alive. Little Prince is actually locking onto the tower. He goes with a Little Prince, but we can just poison that. And it's going to be a lot of damage dealt to his left side tower. So very, very good single elixir. That's why I said um, yeah, in the beginning, try to always take advantage of the single elixir. Because that's where you can most likely... Like, I'll cycle him or get a nice sequence as we just did. Okay, perfect. So, we need to watch out here because he does have the evil archers. But we have poison again in cycle, so it shouldn't be that big of a problem, to be honest. Yeah, we can just poison them here. We can go with goblins off to the side. Let's go with the ice spirit. And let's then go with minions on top of the bowler. Okay, I'm gonna go goblins just to make sure we don't take too much damage here. And then we should be fine. Okay, nice. I feel like that was, like, the difficult, most difficult uh, defense of this match. Because he had the evil arches in cycle right now afterwards, it should be pretty easy. So let's go with miner, let's go with a prelog for the goblins. We do end up hitting three of the four goblins, so that's perfect for us. And then again, poison on defense. Very important to always take advantage of the poison and also very important to always take advantage of the goblins. Since he can't kill that too easily. Okay, watch out. This is going to be a lot of damage. Wait, goblin giant is actually crazy. Wait, don't tell me that we just lost this game. Okay, miner here. I don't think he's going to expect it. Let's go with a lock as well. Perfect. Let's go with ability as soon as we go. Lightning plus rage shouldn't be enough. So I think we still have a chance. That's actually crazy how the Goblin Giant does so much damage there. Okay, let's go Miner to the tower. Please tell me that it's gonna get a good amount of damage. Okay, perfect. One of the minions actually escaped and that's gonna be game. Okay, nice, perfect. Wait, we actually almost lost that because of the Goblin Giant being so, so strong. Anyways, very nice game there. That's why I said like in single elixir, I feel like you can control very easily. But then in double or maybe even triple, the game gets kind of harder because he can get those, yeah, lightnings down. He can get those rages down. We might have actually had to pressure the opposite lane at that situation, but I don't know because we dealt so much damage in the left side tower. I felt like we just had to try and defend the best way possible and then afterwards try to chip him down either with poisons or in this case at the end with a miner plus one minion. The minion was actually MVP there. So let's hop into the next match, see if we can get the match going. I don't know because sometimes the search times in grand challenges are kind of long. So I guess I'll just see you guys when we find the next match. Okay, perfect guys. Looks like we finally found the match. I don't know why that took such a long time. As I said, nowadays the search times, I don't know if you guys play any Grand Challenge at all. But lately the search times in the Grand Challenge have been pretty long. I don't know why actually. Okay, let's start off with Ice Spirit. Let's go with a look. Looks like he has Ghost plus Zep. So it could definitely be a Pekka deck. If it's Pekka, I think it's a pretty decent matchup. But then we still have to watch out because we don't have like a solid 
Um, yeah, ground tank. So let's see. Let's go with goblins to surround the ghost. Let's go with a little prince in the same side as um, yeah one of the archers, and then see whatever he's gonna drop. He might have fireball. He might have poison. In this case, it's gonna be poison. So poison is actually pretty good against the little prince because it fully kills it. Fireball doesn't fully kill it, but the good thing of him having poison is that often it can still get a good amount of value even though it, um, yeah, he poisons it. Okay, I'm actually gonna mine it on the left side to tank for the um, one of the minions. Then we can go with goblins on top of this battle ram, and he goes with a little prince. Okay, we need to watch out here. This is kind of scary, I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna go ice spirit like this, then I'm gonna lock both of them, and then I'm just gonna minions on top of the ghost. I think that's like the best defense we probably could have done. Ghost is gonna get, I think, two or three shots, hopefully only two, okay, in this case only two. And I'm just gonna leave it like this because he does have the archers, he does have seven cycle. I feel like it wasn't really worth it to go with a miner. Need to watch out because he already cycled um, two archers, so the next archers is gonna be the evil one. Okay, let's go with mortar here again, offensive. Not sure if the mortar offensive is the right play because most likely he's just gonna go better ram again, there you go. And then he will just little prince on top of that. Okay, he goes with Bennett actually. Um, let's see. Let's prepare the Ice Spirit off to the side, and then we can just leave it like that, I guess. Okay, so interesting situation. I feel like Pekka Bridge Pam, as I said before, is not the worst matchup, but then at the same time, our cycle sometimes kind of gets awkward because we don't really have like a tank, for example, Knight, for example, Ice Golem or something like that. Okay, let's go with Little Prince. He goes with his own Little Prince. We can go with Minor plus Minions here. I feel like it's kind of awkward for him. He just went with Ghost as well, so that's good for us. And then we can go with some Goblins to surround it. Okay, the Archers will not be able to take care that well of the Minions. Since they were so close. Okay, one of them is gonna survive. I'm actually gonna lock the left side. We can go mine in here. We do need to watch out if he supports it. I'm not sure if the 1 HP Archer actually gets a hit. I don't think it will, but anyways, we will still um, get defended with the Ice Spirit just in case. Let's go with a Little Prince. He went Bandit there. I wasn't expecting a Bandit. I was expecting a Battle Ram, so that's why I went with Little Prince in that position. Anyways, looking pretty solid so far. Let's go with the Ice Spirit here to, the, to reset the Little Prince. Let's then go with our um, minions on top of the right side. And then looks like a pretty solid defense. Didn't really get any damage out of it though. So that's kind of unfortunate. But anyways, we should be fine. Okay, let's go minor minions. Goblins left side. I'm going to keep on the pressure in both sides. I'm going to go mortar here. While well, we still have some minions plus the minor right side. He's going to have to defend both of it. We can go with a little prince here. Let's go with the ice spirit on top of his little prince. Let's then go with, a, uh, with minions. And let's go with a lock. Okay, the lock wasn't really necessary. I actually meant to go with a minor. Okay, let's see. Let's pop the ability and maybe go goblins. Okay, perfect. I think the goblins in this situation is going to be very annoying since he only has zap. He can't really deal with them. Nice, very good push. Okay, he does go with a poison so the minions will not get any value. Miner does get onto the tower. We'll be able to get a bit of chip damage. So, interesting situation. I feel like we're not really getting that much damage. But then at the same time, he also didn't really deal that much damage. So, let's go look on the right side. Let's go goblins in here. And then we should be able to counter that... Okay, Ice Spirit just in case. No, the Ice Spirit was a little bit late. So that's gonna be a lot of damage from him. Okay, let's go Minions here. Better Ram should go to the Mortar, so that's fine. And then we can poison everything. Okay, let's go Goblins as well. Ice Spirit here to the side. Oh my god, we took a lot of damage. Wait, looking kind of rough, I'm not gonna lie. He's playing this really well. And then also, as I said, we don't have a solid ground tank. So that's like the main problem of our deck. Okay, minions on top of here. Let's go with a lock left side. Let's go with goblins to protect. Nice, perfect. Okay, we can still come back. We need to take more advantage of our goblins, I feel like. Okay, nice. Mine here. And I think this might be... No, I was about to say, this might be a good opportunity to go with the little prince plus goblins. But then the little prince gets taken down by his P.E.K.K.A. So, very unfortunate situation there. Okay, let's go here. Let's go little prince. Let's go lock on top. He just wasted the poison. Okay. We still might be able to get something going. But we need to get it going ASAP. Only 24 seconds left, so let's just pressure with everything right now. Let's go minions, let's go goblins. Go with another miner on top of the tower. I'm also gonna cycle the lock here. We need to make sure that this uh, archer doesn't get on top of the tower. Okay, mortar here. Poison. No, it's not gonna be enough. It's not gonna be enough. Very, very unfortunate there. I feel like we could have played it way better though. I feel like we did make a few mistakes. Doesn't really matter though, we still have um, yeah, enough lives to try to get the, um, the 12 win, but it is unfortunate to lose this matchup. I don't know, I feel like I played it many times, sometimes I win it, sometimes I lose it, that's why I said it shouldn't be that bad of a matchup, but at the same time it's not that easy if he plays it well since we don't really have a solid counter against all his spam. So let's hop into the next match, looks like this time we do find a match right away, so that's perfect, let's give him the good luck. 
and let's see if we can get um, yeah a victory this time. So 9-1, as I said, we do have a lot of lives, but then at, the at the same time, I wanted to try and get a 12-0. Okay, let's go Litter Prince into the lane of his Knight. Let's see what other cards... He okay, he has Collector, interesting. So Knight Collector could maybe be, I guess, maybe Golem. Could be a lot of things, to be honest. Okay, I'm gonna pop Ability here, and then I'm gonna Mortar. Let's see what he has to defend this. Okay, he goes with a Barbarrel. We can go with Ice Spirit to protect it. Mortar is locked into the tower. Barbarian will not get any swing. So the Mortar is actually full HP in this situation. That's very good for us. But I feel like he does have quite a lot of elixir, So we do need to watch out. Okay, he goes with Knight. And he go also goes with his Little Prince. Okay, let's go with Minions here. And let's then go with Miner on top of the Little Prince. Okay, perfect. If he abilities, I feel like it will not be the best ability. And then if he doesn't do anything, the Miner plus Minions might actually get a good amount of damage. Wait, what? He went with Elixir Collector, but then he still needs to defend the um, Minor Plus Minions. Okay, he goes with Nado. I guess I'm just always gonna go Poison on top of the Elixir Collector, unless we have like a Miner available. But of course, in this situation, we use the Miner on defense. So I'm guessing, yeah, it should be Golem, right? I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a Golem deck. Yeah, there you go. There's the Golem. Okay, I'm actually gonna pressure a bit on the left side. I feel like his Psycho is kind of awkward right now. So I'm gonna go Little Prince, I'm gonna go Ability as well. Unfortunately for us, we did, um, yeah, Ability kind of late. But then anyways, it's gonna be a lot of damage. Okay, he's just gonna ignore it and goes all in on the right side. Let's see, let's go with a Mortar defensively. I feel like it's gonna be a rough defense, but then at the same time, we just have to defend as good as possible. And then, um, yeah, if we survive, of course, it's gonna be good. If not, no problem. Okay, let's go with Ice Spirit like this. Let's go Little Prince here as well. He's probably gonna nado the little prince. We did get the activation, so that's good for us. And then we can minions behind the E-Drag. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I think that's the best thing we could have done. I think we might not lose the tower, so that's awesome. Okay, perfect. We didn't end up losing the tower. That's actually great for us. We can go with a mortar now. I think he will maybe call him. Let's see. Yeah, he's definitely gonna call him defensively. Okay, let's go with Miner behind the tower. Let's go with Goblins on top of the Golem just to help DPS it down. He does uh, take down the Little Prince, but then at the same time, the Miner is getting a lot of damage. Golem is actually getting destroyed. Wait, he doesn't have a big spell. He doesn't have a way to reach the tower, actually. Like, his only way to reach the tower is um, a Nado. Like, his only damage, I mean. Yeah, but anyways, I think we can defend this. So let's actually just leave it like that. Let's go with Little Prince off to the side and then i'm gonna go with minions on top of his little prince as soon as the e drag locks onto the tower okay perfect minor towards the collector mortar here to pressure and then he shouldn't have any elixir wait that was a strange nado by him he tried to protect it but then he just nadoed the minor towards our nice good prediction there okay let's ability as well mortar is locked into the tower there's gonna be a good amount of damage let's keep up the pressure here. let's go with another mortar minions to keep up the pressure as well i'm gonna ice spirit to reset his little prince and then okay the ice spirit actually didn't jump on top of the little prince still a good amount of damage though okay nice look will be able to take care minions are so annoying for him because he has to spend the e-drag so he either goes e-drag here or it will just get so much value and in this case he does go e-drag but the minions still got a good amount of value let's go with little prince off to the side he goes with his knight. We can just go with, I think, um, Little Prince here. Ice Spirit as well. And then I'm actually going to cycle lock. Wait, I didn't hit the tower, I think. Yeah, I think I didn't hit the tower. Okay, great lock there to cycle. Let's go with a miner. Let's go with poison here as well. And we just need to survive, to be honest. I don't think he will be able to get a huge push going for the three crown. We do need to watch out. Wait, okay, that's actually going to be cycle. Like a uh, spell range, I mean. Okay, miner, poison, lock, and that should be enough. Yeah, poison plus lock will definitely get enough. So let's give it a good game. Very nice win there against the Golem player. I feel like Golem is a decent matchup, but then at the same time, you do need to watch out. Most important part is always to take, um, yeah, like take advantage of his cycle because I feel like minions in most situations are just so annoying for him. He either needs to spend the E-Drag, which the E-Drag is five elixir, still not gonna instant kill them. And then in general, it still gets a lot of value. And if he doesn't have E-Drag and cycle, if he, for example, only has Little Prince, the minions are just, yeah, so good. So it looks like we're up against Retire. Retire is actually a really good player. So let's see what he's going to be running. Okay, looks like he has Goblins and Archers. Okay, looks like some Goblin Giant deck probably. So let's see. Let's go Little Prince in the same lane as his Bowler. Probably have to go with Goblins on top of the Bowler to distract it. And then the Little Prince should be able to take care of it pretty well. Okay, nice. Unfortunately, his Bowler will be able to get one or two shots. But that should be fine. Let's go Minor Minions here right side. I feel like his cycle isn't the best right now to defend it. He's probably going to have to go Goblin Giant. Nice. Okay, perfect. So he goes Goblin Giant plus Rage. Let's go Mortar Defensive here. 
Okay, hopefully the Mortar afterwards can kill the Little Prince or at least damage it a little bit. And then if he abilities, we can just go... Okay, nice. It does end up killing it. Perfect. Okay, so interesting matchup. It's the same matchup as we played in the first game, if I'm not wrong. I kind of want to go Miner plus Lock, but at the same time, I feel like, okay, it maybe would have been worth it. Uh, as I said, or I wanted to say, it might be a bit too aggressive. Okay, let's go Lock here. And then he goes Arches again. Okay, so interesting matchup. As I said, in this matchup, it's very important to take um, as, much, as much advantage as possible in the single elixir. So let's see if we can do so. Okay, I'm gonna, I think, set up a Mortar Evo right side. He's probably gonna go with Bowler. So I'm also gonna go Means as soon as he Bowlers. Okay. And then I'm just gonna Ability left side plus Goblins. Okay, perfect. Good situation, to be honest. The Evil Mortar is still getting a good amount of value on the right side. Then I don't think he has much Elixir right now. I don't think he gets the ability down. Or he does. No, he doesn't get the ability down. So perfect push there. Actually taking a lot of advantage, as I said, of a cycle and single Elixir, which is very, very important. Okay, let's go Ice Spirit like this. One Evil Archer still gets a good amount of damage, but then I think it's worth it for one Elixir to block um, yeah, most of the shots. Okay, so we just need to survive 50 seconds. I think he's missing lightning, so we don't really want to give him lightning value. Let's go Miner in the same lane as the Goblin Giant. Let's then go as soon as we can Little Prince here off to the side, making sure we don't give him any lightning value. Okay, he's still lightnings, but he will not be able to hit the Mortar, so the Mortar should be able to deal yeah, pretty well with everything there. Okay, let's go Poison here defensive. And then we just need to survive, to be honest. 20 seconds left. I don't think he has much time at all. Okay, let's go like this. Let's go with Ability. Ice Spirit here as well. And that should be good game. I don't think the Goblin Giant, even though it's really broken, um, yeah, will not deal that amount of damage. So nice. Very good win there against a very good player. Retire is actually a top ladder player. I think he usually plays Mortar Bait. In this case, I guess he was just trying out the um, yeah, Meta Goblin Giant deck. So let's give it a good game. Very nice win there. I think we need one more win to complete the Grand Challenge, if I'm not wrong. I think we only lost one game against the P.E.K.K.A. player. And then besides that, I think we won everything so far. Yeah, 11-1 right now in the Grand Challenge. Let me check if that's the real retire. I think it is, right? Yeah, look at that. He has top 15 in leather and then also top 15 in Global Tournament. Very good player, so big shout out to him. And let's go for the maybe last match. If we win, it's going to be the last match. If we lose, I guess we're going to be in a do or die situation. So it looks like estimated time is 20 seconds. Most of the time it takes a little bit longer. So I guess I will see you guys soon with maybe the last match. Okay, perfect guys. Looks like we found the next match. Looks like we're up against Carl Safio. So let's give him the good luck and see what he's running. As I said, if we win, it's going to be a 12 win. If we lose, we still have one more chance. Okay, so we go Miner, he goes Fur in the same lane, interesting. I kind of want to Poison, but at the same time, I don't want to spend too much Elixir. I guess it's fine though. I don't know what else he's going to be running besides the Furnace, but I don't think he will be able to punish that like insanely hard after spending a Poison. Okay, he is running sp uh, Spawners. I think that's the right word in English, right? Like Goblin Hut, Furnace, and then who, who knows what else he's running. Okay, let's set up a Mortar Defensive here to tank for the Goblins, also be able to take care of them, and then afterwards it will also hit the Goblin Hut. So he has Evil Archers, Furnace, and Goblin Hut. It's kind of strange for me to play against a deck like this. Let's see what he's running. Okay, he also has Sparky in there. So a very toxic deck here in potentially the last game. Let's see what he's going to be running. Besides that, I feel like he's going to have a Goblin Giant in there, right? Let's anyways go with Minions. Okay, he goes with Prince. He also has... Okay... Let's go with ability right side. Let's then go with a lock. Little Prince will be able to get a bit of damage on top of the tower. And then the Prince also deals... Or the Guardian also deals a lot of damage to the Prince. Okay, so very, very interesting deck. As I said, he has arrows, evil archers, Prince, Sparky, double spawner. And then who else... Or who knows what else he's missing. Could even be like an E-Giant. Could be anything, really. Okay, I'm gonna go Miner on top of the Furnace instead of going Poison. Okay, he goes Archers. He spent quite a lot of Elixir there, so let's actually go with a Mortar Offensive in this situation. And then he goes with a Sparky, okay. <coughs> I'm gonna cycle Lock right side. Very good Lock because we take care of two of the Fire Spirits. And then we do need to watch out with some Arrows. I feel like he could go with Arrows Prediction, so let's go with Goblins already. Just to make sure he doesn't go Arrows. And then if he did, we could have maybe Miner or just um, yeah, Minions on top of that. Uh, let's Little Prince here on top of the Fire Spirits. And I feel like he's missing a tank or something. Okay, he has Fireball plus Arrows. We do need to watch out with that. Let's go with a Mortar Offensive. In this case, it's going to be the Evil Mortar. So it's going to be a little bit scarier for him to defend. Okay, let's go with Miner here off to the side. He goes with his uh, Mega Knight. I'm going to go Minions, even though he does have Arrows. I feel like it's still a good play. 
And then hopefully, please tell me that you shoot the archers. Mortar. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's go goblins here. Let's go ability as well, just to make sure we defend that. And then I'm going to pressure the left side. Okay, nice. The archer will die. And then, interesting situation. Like, this thing is just so strange. I don't really know what to say or what to do, to be honest. Okay, let's go minions here. He goes with a mega knight. Uh, I guess we can cycle lock. Let's cycle ice spirit first. Let's then go miner plus little prince. And then here we can go with goblins on top of the sparky. Okay, we don't need a child because the miner did go down. Okay, nice. Okay, we're surviving, but I'm not a big fan of this um, situation, to be honest. Okay, let's go with ability. He's probably gonna go Prince. Yeah, nice. Okay, very good. No, unfortunately, it's not targeted on top of the Guardian. I thought it was gonna be on top of the Guardian. Okay, so he's probably gonna Mega Knight in front. We need to watch out. Let's set up a defensive mortar here. And then even though he goes Mega Knight, I think we still go Minions. I think we just go Minions already. Okay, Poison first. Wait, is he not gonna Mega Knight or anything in front of the Sparky? Okay, I guess he just leaves the Sparky like that. He's probably gonna Arrows, though. But um, Ice Spirit should be enough, plus the damage of the Mortar to be able to counter that. So, interesting situation. Okay, let's keep under pressure. Let's go with Mortar. We still have a Mortar defensive as well. Okay, let's go. Let's go Miner here. Let's pop the ability of the Little Prince. Okay, good pressure. We can just defend the Sparky easily. And wait, the Mortar actually locked onto the tower. Wait, there's gonna be a good amount of damage. That's so much damage, actually. Because the Goblins, of course, also hit another shot of the Mortar. And oh my god, it's actually gonna be so game-changing. Evil Mortar getting a ton of value there. Let's go with Ice Spirit. Let's go with Goblins. I think the Yeah, I think he actually gave up <laughs> after the Mortar. He probably got so tilted that the Mortar got so much damage and so much value. So that is gonna be another victory. Very, very nice game. Very, very nice video. We only lost against the P.E.K.K.A. player and it was still a close match. I feel like the P.E.K.K.A. game, we could have played a bit better. But besides that, I'm very happy with the gameplay of today's video. Managed to beat some, uh, yeah, pretty difficult matchups. And then I also managed to show you guys how to beat the very popular Goblin Giant player or Goblin Giant deck I should play beating two of those players. So let's hop into the chest opening. Of course, we get some gold, we get some Barbarians, Goblin Gang, we get Archers, Skelly Jack, Spear Gobs, Tesla, a lot of common cards already. We get 34 Musketeers, Expo, Dark Goblin. Looks like we might be able to get a Legendary here, actually. Arrows, and then hopefully, okay, we, we do get a Legendary. Eight Epics, and then we get a Legendary. Very nice. Even though we're maxed out, we do want to get some, uh, yeah, Legendary, or even Champion cards, just to get those, um, yeah, how to say, I don't even know how you call that in English. Like the Elite World Cards, so yeah, to get as many Elite World Cards as we can, to be able to get some uh, yeah other cards and decks to level 15. So that's gonna be it for today's video, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, if you did enjoy it, please make sure to smack the like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, feel free to subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in one of my next videos. Take care guys!